In Electrobim, we have the project options, and this is where you control all the various settings you have for Electrobim in your project. And there's a lot of options, and we will take a look at all of these. When you make these changes, you then have to figure out how to get these changes to other projects. Because when you make a change to all of this, you're going to get this set up once. You want to have it all configured for how your company likes to work. And you don't want to have to make these changes in every project. There's really two ways you can handle that. One, you can open up your template file, run this command, the project options command in your template file, and make the changes there. Uh, and then that template will have the settings in it. And then all projects based upon that template will have your settings. The other option is to use the customization export and import commands. So you would find the project, you would get everything set up properly there. Then you can run the export command. When you run this, you have choices for what you are actually exporting and where you're exporting it to. So you give it a file location that you're going to export and then choose what you want to export, uh, the various option settings, and then also uh, some wire sizing and transformer settings. And you can save that to a file. And then in future projects, you run the customization import command. So you take that file that you've exported it, and then you import it into other projects. Uh, so that's just two different ways you can do the template or you can do the export import. Uh, one benefit to the export import is that you can then pull that into projects that have already started. Uh, otherwise, if you use the template, you have to make sure to start with that template. And then once the project started, there's no way to update it. So the uh, export import gets around that limitation with the templates. Uh, so if you have a template, you can set that up. There's probably a place for everyone to be using export import as well. Let's look at the single line diagram generate one line options. These are the options for when we are generating a one line automatically. The horizontal and vertical spacing control how far apart we insert devices. The horizontal is how much space we have between devices that are kind of in the same row. The vertical is how much space we leave between them vertically. These are, are just scaling factors. So they don't really correspond to anything. You essentially want to set them to a value that looks right to you and works well with your graphics. Our numbers work well with our out-of-the-box graphics. If they're too tight or too far apart, just adjust them, make, make adjustments, run and generate, see what it looks like uh, to get a value that looks right. Circuit sort order controls how the devices downstream are inserted. So all of these downstream devices, we have to decide what order we're going to insert these. And so the circuit sort order is controlling that. We've got three options. The default is the circuit number, so we just do them in circuit number order. We are going to go odd and then even by default. We can also do it based upon breaker size. So we'll do the large breakers first and then the smaller breakers after that. Or you can do by downstream equipment name. So we'll do alphabetically. Uh, so you have options for how we're going to lay out those downstream panels. Finally, we have all of these default graphics for all of these different configurations and types of panels uh, and branch circuit devices. These are the defaults for the project. So if a value isn't set somewhere else, this is what we are going to use. You can also override this at the device level or in the family level. So you can set things up to, to use other values. But if it's not set anywhere and we don't know what else to use, this is what ElectroBIM is going to use. So we have it separate out. Uh, for panel graphics, we have different graphics for zero or one sub panel and also two or more. So we do basically like that's how we get a different uh, graphic for the switchboard as opposed to the, the single panels downstream. So we treat those uh, separately and then transformers. We have the same option. You can have different graphics depending on how many things downstream of the transformer. By default, those are the same, but you can split those out. And then finally, we have the default graphic for branch circuit devices as well. And these are the project defaults, and then they can be overridden. For more complete details on how to generate one line works, we have another training. Go take a look at that for, for demonstrations of how all of these options work. We have these options for controlling how that generate is going to work.